It's a poignant picture. The two flight nurses standing in front of the Learjet that they flew in so often to care for critically ill patients. Tina Ward and Lori Gentz had long careers in health care that ended in this tragic plane crash Monday night. The plane was on approach to Gillespie Field when it slammed into the ground along Pepper Drive in this East County neighborhood. The picture was provided by the International Association of EMTs and Paramedics, Local 162, the union they both were members of. Mariana Aliano is the vice president and a personal friend of both. It's a huge loss for um, their families. They had a lot of friends. They had long, long careers. They took care of a lot of people. They helped a lot of people. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board spent the day going through the crash site, looking for clues to what went wrong. Some power and Internet connections are still out as workers try to restore services. The San Diego County Medical Examiner has now officially identified all four of the victims who died, including the two pilots, 45-year-old Douglas James Grande and 55-year-old Julian Jorge Bajaj. Their friend and co-worker told us by phone that Lori Gentz was a leader and logged many hours in the air. She worked for several different flight companies before, whether it was um, the planes or the helicopters. She's worked in hospitals, um, ER, intensive care units. And with with Tina, um, she started out as a paramedic. She was a first responder before she was a nurse. And... um, She's also worked at different hospitals. The jet was registered to Aeromedivac, based at Gillespie Field. Late this afternoon, the company issued a statement honoring the crew members lost and made a commitment to support their families. Tina and Lori both led by example. You know, exactly how they how they did things is what they expected from, from everyone else. Strong women and strong memories to hold on to. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.